Thank you guys so much for attending Citizens for Liberty's uh, meeting tonight. We really do appreciate it. Um, as you all know, this is our Liberty Movie Night. Um, we're going to show a documentary. It's only about 45 minutes long, but it's called The UN Deception. The United Nations Deception. And it is a part of a four-month plan that we have to outreach and uh, you know, wake people up in our community about what's going on in this world. Um, let's see, we're going to have this movie tonight. Afterwards, we're going to have an open discussion about the movie. And we're also going to talk about relevant events as far as what's going on, you know, the NSA scandal, the IRS, gun confiscation, things like that. And feel free to bring anything up afterwards. But um, as I said before, this is a four-month plan. Um, the next few months, we're going to have things about... Turn the music off so we can hear you. Oh, is that music still on? I'll get it. Thanks. Well, it's an Italian restaurant, right? <laughs> Thanks. I didn't... Okay, um, let's... I look who that is. Well, we're going to have a four-month plan. It's all about exposing the globalists, United Nations, corrupted elected officials that want to destroy our United States sovereignty. It's out there. We're here to talk about it, educate, and inform people. We're going to talk about, um, you know, for example, a soft kill, you know, GMOs, how our food supply is being poisoned, our education system, how it's been hijacked by UNESCO, Common Core, and things like that. We're also going to talk about, in the future upcoming months, about the upcoming, the rise of the police state and things that they have done to take away our liberties, like the NDAA, the Patriot Act, uh, FEMA, Homeland Security, what they're doing to take away our rights. We're also going to talk about terrorism as well. And uh, another thing that we're going to talk about in the next few months that's going to sort of relate to all of this, we're going to have emergency preparedness, what you can do just in case there is a natural disaster. So that's what's going on, and that's what we're going to, you know, have this no, a and unnatural disaster. Well, what's that? A man caused the fan. Yeah, yeah, man caused yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the fan. Yeah, when stuff hits the fan. It's going to be fun. We had it last year. Everybody enjoyed it. The guy is really cool. Jim Billman from the Birch County Patriots. He brings like a huge machine gun and sets at the table. And, you know, it's for presentation. It's really fun. But he talks about what you can do, where to go, you know. Yeah, it's very helpful as far as just in case anything ever does happen. It's always going to be prepared. But I'd like to turn it over to Jackie. She'd like to say a few things. Um, this is our, my, my co-founder. We're both co-founders of Citizens for Liberty. Hi. We're gonna uh, we're just gonna rise for the lunch. You said it. Yeah, I'm sorry. I talked to you. Yeah. Yeah. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rally today, if anybody. Everybody's asking me if I do anything, but there's some pictures. Yeah, huge rally in DC. Do we have any other pictures? That was today. Not sure. It was just this afternoon. It went on until five o'clock. There was also something about you know the immigration bill going on down there at the same time. Yeah, the amnesty. But what we usually do when we start all of our meetings every month, it's been a tradition for the past couple months. Jackie starts off with her, what's the buzz in PA? She talks about, you know, political issues, you know, what's going on in PA, legislative issues and things like that. And then afterwards, you know, I do my monthly liberty report as far as, you know, what's affecting our constitution and things like that. So, go for it, Jackie. You need click. Oh, on the clicker? Okay. Oh, yeah, we didn't figure out how to learn this, use this remote yet. We just got this. But it's a nice projector, right? Yeah, it's better than yeah. the other one we had. It's really blurry. All right. Okay. All right. Has everybody heard about this? Philly school closing, 4,000 jobs. Um, I'm a teacher, so obviously this affects me. Um, I don't work in the city, but you know they can build a prison, a $400 million prison, but they can't keep community programs open and after school programs and you know before and after school care. It's ridiculous. The money's going somewhere. Um, they're saying that that you know they they strategically chose the schools, but some of these schools ha schools had a 92 percent graduation rate. These aren't these aren't the bad schools. I mean they don't have a lot of people in them, so I understand you have to, have to fill the seats. But if everybody from the school 92 percent is graduating, you don't even have that in the suburbs. So that's uh, that shows you. Um. Germantown and Plymouth meeting uh, near the mall. They're, they want to construct a monument. Um, Applebee's is hosting a fundraiser, and I have more information on it. But there's going to be um, it's going to honor the military forces, and uh, there's going to be a special plaque honoring Brad Fox. Um, you know, um, he's a local guy that got killed last year, 
and you know we're local people, so we were around that day that it happened. House Bill 357. Anybody not know what that is? Okay, it's the the nullification bill, but Daryl Metcalf only has 77 sponsors. When I started talking about this, it had 73. So we're not getting the amount of sponsors we need. We need 106 to get it through to the, the Judiciary Committee. Or we need to put a lot of pressure on these people. There are some locals. Todd Stevens is local. Um, Nat Bradford is local. Um, Brian Ellis is in that far as Chester County. There, there are some local Wait, people. Which Madeline one's Chester Mead. County? What? Which one's Chester um, County? Uh, Ryan Ellis, Madeline Dean, Narstown, Matt Bradford, Narstown. His office is two minutes from here. We need to call these people. We need to get this through. This is the only way that we're going to protect our gun rights in in state. Did, did Mike Barrett? Mike Barrett said that he will support it when it goes through, but he will not go through. Uh, one of those things. So we need to put, and he's not on the judiciary committee, but we need to get yeah. it through this before we can even bring it to a vote. So. Well, what, uh, summarize the bill. What, what is it? Um, the bill is basically nullification. Um, that no matter what um, laws the federal government put in place, Pennsylvania has the right to, Pennsylvania firearm owners have the right to hold their guns. It's, you know, like, like we want to do for Obamacare, it's nullification. It's the, it's the only solution for things like that. Um, Everybody knows pension reform is a, is an issue here. Uh, Forty billion dollars in debt. Everybody, you know, you can you can be a state rep, a horrible state rep for four years, and you get um, an eighty thousand dollar pension for the rest of your life you know, for messing the country up, <laughs> state up, whatever. Uh, state rep Warren Conn, not my favorite person, but he he just introduced. Two bills to reform it. Um, there are the bill, bill numbers. Um, I have not read through them, so I don't know. I can't tell you if they're good, but at least they're on the table. There hasn't been anything. Nobody's even wanted to touch it because it's such a mess. So um, there are the bill numbers, if you, and there's the site. And I can send everybody that's used to choose. Oh, which, um, these are just a couple little things I saw. Uh, shooting with police, police soar as violent crime plummets. So police are using hostile force more and more in the city of Philadelphia. Um, you're seeing it all the time. You know, anybody who's been down there knows that there's a high police presence and they're going to shoot first and ask questions later. Um, I have police officers in my family and I know that this is not everybody, but it's happening and it's, it's making news. Um, Chuck, I don't know how to pronounce it actually. That, that <laughs> All right, introduce the simplified liquor privatization bill. Very, um, very important. Yeah, yesterday I he made a press conference about it. I ha heard some people that said it was horrible, and then some people that said it was great. You can read it over and make your choices. Um, I personally don't like House Bill 790. I, I, I agree, 100% agree with liquor privatization, but I don't believe that we need to have more government and I don't believe, I don't agree that it's going to, the, what was it, 80 million dollars? Something, it's going to go all to, uh, it's supposed to go all to the public education yeah. system. I say, instead of having the 2.5 billion dollar transportation package that, um, what's his name, Rafferty, it just got through Senate, I say put that money towards that, bing bang, it's paid, our streets get fixed. That, uh, privatization bill, I agree with the state not, run the liquor but I actually used to own a beer distributor up in West Norton and I still work there. The problem is with the current owners a lot of their stores aren't set up to be able to bring in that yeah the, the liquor and the wine and beer you just don't have enough room and there has to be some kind of constellation for them. I think you know I mean? that this one yeah I, I haven't read it so I don't know. better for right. the wholesale distributors like yeah. like d distributors mm -hmm. I, I believe I just read I just read about yeah. this bill today yeah. and they were saying that the way it's set up it still it basically still leaves the control to the government to the government and they yeah. said so that it needs to be something other than yeah. that yeah I mean it's not I'm right. glad somebody else came and said F you Corbett and this is what we want to do um but and then maybe somebody like Metcalf will come up and pick something better 
Um, and then the redistrict redistricting was just approved. I know yeah. my state rep has changed oh, from foreign yeah. comp to like our, which I'm happy about I'm personally. Happy about. But you know, it's changed, and I'm sure it has changed for a lot of you. Yes. That's it, right? Yeah, you gotta be the player. C's are always longer than mine. No. He likes to call me the phone. No, get out of here. Jan is Jan right there. That was the funnest day we've had since we started Citizen Show, right? If anybody was there, it was great. Yeah, the gun thing. We had about 150 to 200 people show up in Norristown. We marched right down the street. Uh, it must have been the safest it's been in, what, 20 years, right? <laughs> But uh, okay, every month I get my Liberty Report. You know, just current news that's going on, stuff that can affect our, you know, our freedoms, our Constitution. Uh, Jackie, I already mentioned this though, so we go to the next one. This is the IRS scandal. She showed pictures targeting Libertarian, conservative, uh, Tea Party groups. So I'm sure we all know about that. If anybody has any questions during any of these, please raise your hand or just shout something out and let me know. That okay, one thing that we have going on right now is the NSA spying on Americans. Does anybody not know about this? Okay, good. We got a good group here. Um, the NSA has been spying on Americans ever since. Um, what was his name? Edward Snowden, former what? CIA. CIA. Some, security. Yeah, and he just you know he I think he was a contractor worked for a contractor that had information like this, and he just said, hey, you know what? The Verizon is you know getting the government. The NSA is getting people's information through Verizon. So he was the guy that you know brought that out and just leaked it. Yeah. So we go to the next one. So that's a very important one because, um, let's see here, the NSA, um, let's say, the program that they use to spy on us is called PRISM. And um, I'm not really sure how it works, but you know, anything that you do on the internet, it's not private, unless you have some <coughs> kind of encryption, and I could email everybody later, and how they can secure their internet. It bounces you know, off China or Russia, nobody knows you know, what you're looking at. But I'll let everybody know about that later. But you know, they, uh, the NSA, including the FBI, have been, you know, and the Secret Service, especially at Facebook. You know, they're reading our Facebook posts. Yes. I was gonna say there, there is no such thing as privacy on the internet. It's just you have layers of security. Yeah. That's the um, truth, so right there. Right. Information. Um, they have the determination. They can. I mean, they can decrypt your stuff within hours. Um, but you, the most, the more layers of security you have, the better. Yeah. And it's good to see you again. Did you go down to the IRS protest today? No, I did not. No? Uh, I had a bio test. Had oh, the bio test, okay. Well, yeah, it's just layers, but um, everything you do, like I had a few buddies in the past few months just for writing, uh, I don't know, they call them anti-government uh, posts. He was talking about Obama and the Federal Reserve or something. Secret Service visited his house and said, hey, we're not going to, you're not in trouble, we just want to talk to you, you know? So they're watching us, and it's, it's, it's kind of scary to say the least. If we can go to the next slide. That was Chris, right? He's not here today. Hey, hey, Steve. Thing that oh yeah, another guy. Yeah, because he has a Facebook group called the PA Militia. So all of a sudden, you know, they wanted to ask him questions. It's kind of creepy. And this is the guy that Edward Snowden, you know, whistleblower. What's that? He's the whistleblower. Yeah, he's the whistleblower. I'm, I'm glad you guys know that. And he's over in uh, Beijing right now. Yeah. Point of order. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just one thing about the uh, sure. Go ahead. The YouTube videos. How many of you guys have? Had a YouTube that you've been looking at, all of a sudden it's no longer available. Yeah, yeah. it's been taken off, like Harp, yeah. uh, or uh, oh, there's so many of them yeah. that you can't see anymore. Right. That's one of the things you're doing. There, or they'll have some like this on Facebook YouTube's. where you have the picture of that posted, right? And they they like crop it so that you can't see what it's yeah. even saying. Yeah, that yeah. happens all that that just started happening the past year or two. I right. they never used to do that. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, so they're 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 out there. They're doing it. Oh, they're watching it. Because, you know, we're, you know, the right, they call us the right-wing extremists. You know, if you're libertarian, if you're conservative, Tea Party, whatever, you know, on, somehow on the right side, you know, they consider us the terrorists. I'm, I'm going to get into that. Maybe you should just follow a registered Democrat. Yeah, Proving it wouldn't matter. But I have a question. So yes. is, is it just Obama that's been doing this, no. or is it before? This has been going on yeah, even before, going before on that, a little bit, well, you know, the Clinton, the Bush. So that, oh, right there. Well, no, I mean, that right there. 
It was an invasion. Was an invasion. Yeah, Bush introduced and the Patriot Clinton, Act. And then Clinton did the, well, <laughs> Ronald Reagan did yeah. martial law. They've had a plan for how He was years. the, Rexing he was the grand yes. father of martial 17, law. 1776. So then, ever since yeah. then, it's been. Well, the thing is, that's why we're having this movie night. Uh, the movie's only 45 minutes long. And it talks about things like this. There's a group called the Council on Foreign Relations. Uh, who, how many people have heard of that? The Council yeah. Foreign Relations? Okay, so you know what I'm talking about. And this is what we're talking about. Why do you think they're spying on us? Want to take away our liberties? You know, strip our constitutional rights? It's all connected to the United Nations and central banks and citizens. Uh, I was going to say citizens for liberty. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There, we're all right. Does anybody else have anything else to say about the NSA before we move on? Yeah, let me just mention that. Uh, this all started out once under what's called the FISA Court, Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act Court. It was started in about 2001, right after 9-11, and it was really then focused on foreign intelligence. Over the past five or six years, it's really now focused on domestic. So what it's now that they're doing is surveilling all of citizens of the United States, and they have specifically stated that they are not surveilling any Muslims or any uh, Islamic <laughs> groups. A question. Wow. I, that was going to be my question. Um, that I read yesterday that uh, mosques are not being surveilled, but churches right. and synagogues are. Oh. Right. Where did you hear that? And do you think it's... I've read it someplace. Do you think it's really true? I, I've read it someplace. Oh, I'm Under Obama? Under Obama. Yeah. I mean, who's admitting to it? Oh, I think, I think that was admitted by uh, someone in testimony. But I'll, I'll said try that to they find were it. looking into anything? No, they said that they were specifically not uh, doing anything, well, uh, looking at mosques or Islamic things. I can probably answer that in the next yeah. few slides. Yes, yeah, yeah, I'll try. I'll I, try I got something that could be relevant yeah, to that. And there's one more question back there. Oh, I was going to say, the, the NSA has been around before, I mean, before uh, 2001 and before 9 11. Uh, all you do is you just got to watch, uh, have you ever, ever seen the movie Enemy of the State? Yeah. Dustin Will Smith. I mean, that, that movie was made in 1998, so that movie wasn't even made. Uh, uh, cringe. <laughs> but uh, the movie was made between, uh, before 9 11. It just shows you, I mean, it, it's been years that they've had you know, access to information that anyone, as long as you have telecommunications. That's been going on in years. The access, and, and, you know, just you know, more technological events we get, the more they can spy on us, the more stuff we make public. You know, Facebook makes their job a lot easier. Did you want to say something? I just wanted to, yeah, one? just real quick. I have a friend, and I, I need to get in touch with him again because I kind of lost a little touch with him. But he said that they had a group that was actually going to be doing something with the internet, whereby it's almost like a server, a private server, something start page. where people can start actually being able to access the internet without any whatever. Like so I am going to check into him about it because. He's involved with some military friends and stuff who okay. aren't real happy with Well, be with sure to let, let me know and I'll tell everybody else. I will. Else. I will. I will. Uh, okay, this guy. Florida Governor Rick Scott arrests replaces a sheriff for upholding Second Amendment. This happened in early June. I don't know if you guys heard about that. But, um, is that the sheriff or is that the governor? That's the sheriff. 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 I, I don't know too much about it, but I thought it was a little, a little alarming because he was ordered to disarm a, a law-abiding citizen of his Second Amendment rights. He said, no, he didn't do anything wrong. I don't know too much about the story, but that's another thing that's going on. So a lot of sheriffs have uh, signed saying that uh, uh, other people, which I'm a member yeah. of, too, that they will not... Uh, you know, disarm, disarm people, yeah, lawful. You're right. uh, I mean, just mean that there won't, that there are certain books already on, on the books that the, you know people with mental problems are. But hmm. anything that's obviously, particularly new legislation that may come down if I say they're not going to enforce it, that's what we're trying to get. Uh, guy in, well, our, our woman in uh, Montgomery, and oh, yeah, our woman <laughs> guy in, in books, but uh, I don't think. Yeah, she's worried about you know politically correct. The sheriff does have the power. You know they got more power than yeah. the president yeah. in our county to protect us from you know yeah, the federal government. Yeah, the chief law enforcement yeah. officer in the county. Exactly. He sounds like Bill Riley. He does. <laughs> okay, the 14 year old boy I just heard about this a few days ago yes. was suspended and arrested after for refusing to change his NRA shirt. What um, Freedom. Of yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is an NRA protector, right? He has a, probably an AR-15 on it. <laughs> he was charged with obstructing justice. 
He could basically do anything. He's facing a possibility of one year in jail. I think there's a $500 fine. I looked at that yesterday. It's still standing. Um, they're just saying he wouldn't change it. I guess he wouldn't cooperate with the police, and they arrested him, all because he didn't want to change his shirt. And there was also another kid, I think, that about a month ago in high school that was wearing a shirt that said Marines and had a picture of a gun going across of it, and he got in trouble as well. So this is another thing that's going on in our country. You know, all of our public schools, and they seem like they're anti-Second Amendment. So just anything to do with guns. Yeah, anything to do with guns, even if it's peacefully. Yeah. 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 Um, from what I understand, I think it's the same story that they did suspend him, but the next day, like, he wore it again. kids all wore the same shirt. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, were, we were thinking. It's <laughs> funny you say that. Perhaps we should, Jackie, were you going to say? Yeah, we were thinking, obviously school's out, but we were thinking of having a mask wear your NRA shirt day. Um, or even like countrywide. Yeah. Yeah. Throughout the whole country, not even yeah. NRA. I will donate on two high school students in my area. Yeah, wear a Second Amendment t-shirt day just and just make it national. Let's so what are we going to do, suspend everybody? Yeah. yeah. Yes. I was just going to say too that on um, the last month or so I've been um, tutoring uh, high school students and I noticed, um, and I'm tutoring math, and I noticed even in their math textbooks they bring up um, mathematical equations for population growth, which I think oh, is like, I interesting, do. and also model UN questions. Oh, it's okay. very disturbing that in my textbooks in high school they never had like that. That's common core. Yeah, it's common core. Yeah, yeah, it's common core. Based I'm a teacher, 21. so this is very okay. I don't know if you guys know common core <laughs> is basically related to the United Nations, UNESCO, and 21. It's all about taking, you know, away from the collect, the individual, and it's all about the collective, you know. It's not about being free thinkers. But at Star Trek, the Borg were the bad guys, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Hillary welcomes the global gun ban. Recently, this what week, I think 64, maybe 67 countries throughout the world said, hey, we're going to sign a global, uh, the, the United States Small Arms Treaty. Um, yeah, United Nations, and that's another reason why I put this in here, because we're going to show this 45-minute documentary tonight, <laughs> and they tried, they've been trying to pass this thing for years. Um, Obama, okay, Secretary of State, uh, John Kerry, who is actually part of the Skull and Bones, uh, George Bush was when he ran against him as well, but he's, he said that um, Obama will sign this. What they're waiting on, I think, in the next month or two, it could happen sooner. They're waiting to change some language in this in this treaty where it can affect, you know, large arms, small arms could be considered uh, AR-15s and even pistols. So that's something to look out to. The only way to defeat this is um, you're not going to get through the prep to the president. We all know that. But the only way to defeat it is you got to talk to your senators because they're the ones that can ratify this. If the United Nations says, hey. Let's take away your guns, you know. The only way they can do that is if it goes to the Senate and then you need okay, two-thirds of the Senate to say, sure, you can take our guns. So we need to really put so pressure on Toomey. Put pressure on Toomey, put pressure on Casey. Toomey's probably. Yes. I know, but... What Obama won't sign. He just signs off. What's that? I said the real question is what what will Obama not sign? I mean, he signs everything. Yeah, he does. Toss the paper out and we'll sign it. He won't sign the Keystone Pipeline. Yeah. 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 He won't sign the good things, right? Okay, basically about this United Nations Small Arms Treaty, um, let's see here. Uh, I got a lot of information off of their their PDF file about it in the John Birch Society. And it basically it said uh, the right to own, buy, sell, trade. It's, it's mainly has to deal with transferring your weapons. That will be restricted to civilians. Uh, that, you know, it's all about taking small steps. That's what they're going to do. They don't want to take away our gun rights, you know, like that. It's all about putting in the small provisions, the laws. It's it's like a gradual. What do you call it? Incremental. Incrementalism. That's what they want to do. They know if they take away our rights, there will be a revolution. So they, they don't want to. They don't want to do that. So they take away our rights, just like they did in Nazi Germany. It's all about taking small steps. So the next one. Okay, this is getting over soon, I promise. Okay, uh, somebody said something about, uh, you know, what are you talking about? How they label us in churches and religion, right? Okay, whoop, go back. Well, anyway, leave it right there. Uh, Department of Homeland Security document, which is unclassified but for their eyes only, I obtained. It basically says about how right-wing extremists are, they label us as terrorists, uh, they also say we're, uh, what, is what, they, they put us in the same category as hate groups and yeah. things like that. And we're something that they we should they should watch out for. They, they train about us and everything. In that document, it says the possible passage of any kind of, you know, gun law which, which restricts, you know, uh, people or military veterans that are returning to our communities from war. Guess what? 
You know, there could be a potential emergence of terrorist groups, or as Obama said, lone, roof, lone uh, wolf extremists. extremists. So uh, we could carry out violent attacks. That's what they're saying about us. You know, we are the terrorists. I, I, it seems like the war on terror has been shifted to the war of terror against us. Just because, you know, we're anti, you know, world government, you know, we're all about our constitution. And it's just crazy what they say. Right-wing extremism in the United States can be based in the groups. Um, Hate-oriented groups, you know, religious groups. Um, anybody that is in favor of the, the local authority over the state or the federal government, I guess we're all terrorists, right? So that, that was kind of alarming. I just wanted to show you guys this. I know people talk about it a lot, but I wanted to physically show you this. Uh, military veterans coming home from whatever, uh, Afghanistan, Dis they're called disgruntled. You know, if there's a military veteran that comes home from war and they want to join any group like ours, you know, a Liberty group, a Tea Party group, a Ron Paul group, Libertarian, whatever, they're going to label you, they're, they're going to watch you because guess what? You could use your intelligence from, you know, that you learned in the military and you could, skills. You, the skills, yes, you could create terror, you know, it says, they relate that as well as far as Timothy, Timothy McVeigh and the militia and white supremacy and they cause extremist groups, I don't know, I think they fear us. And they're afraid that we're waking more people up, so they want to label us. So with that being said, um, there was a recent ter uh, terrorism drill. This is the last part, I promise. There was a recent terrorism drill in Los Angeles where, um, you know, they were, they were terrorists and they were practicing. It was like a 1984-style police drill. And I just wanted to show you this after showing you that, you know what, Al-Qaeda, you know, all those groups that they you know, help create, they, they include us in that as well. So I wanted to show you uh, a short video of some alarming things that are happening in our streets in America. There you go. Sorry. Hey, Mr. This is planned with the Homeland Security. And just remember that what they said about us being the terrorists. to the Homeland Security document, which I showed. And they also had another film I would show you, we don't have that much time, um, how they label uh, Tea Party militia groups as uh, terrorists, and it shows them going into somebody's house and taking them, dragging them away because they had unregistered guns. Did you want to say anything? Yeah, um, I'm actually going to be doing a video on it's um, basically like police have them, undocumented police have them, that they can plug yourself in when you're being, you know, when your car, car is being searched or whatever. 
um, and they get everything. Yeah. Like it literally, it takes 10 seconds and they get everything on your phone, search history, anything. Um, there was a big, back in 2011, there was a big case on it in Michigan. So, uh, the ACLU sued the crap out of the Michigan State Police. Um, well, apparently it's being used in Jersey right now. Um, it's being used where? In Jersey. Now, I searched everywhere trying to find it. I can't find any documented, you know, like lawsuit yet on it. But um, my brother's friend, it, he, they, they took his cell phone. They pulled him over for drug possession, minor drug possession. Um, he had like a gram of weed, something small on him. And they uh, pulled him over and they searched his car and they took his cell phone and took it to the car and literally that quick. So, How did he know that? Uh, he saw it. He was he was in the car. He, they you know handcuffed him and they put him right at the car and he saw them plug it plug in. in. Yeah. So it's it's happening. I, I like I said I've searched because I'm trying to find it, but it doesn't surprise me in Jersey at all. Like, and what's it called again? Celebrate. It's the Celebrate Company. Um, C L L. Yeah, C L B R I T A. Um, I like we'll I said that in that Michigan day. in 2011 yeah, we'll it happened <laughs> and the ACLU. Um, sued them and they, it was a huge settlement so it's definitely out there the technology is out there and I'm sure more local police are using it but we're just not hearing about well, it because the ACLU people don't know the rights. It, then the ACLU gets the money and they're part of this. well uh, yeah so, so it's just like a circle yeah, of course money just they're good. but every yeah. once in a while they they you know every once in a while the they'll, they'll protect the average person if you need them to you know so it's a good number to have on you I really yeah. Well, Steve I guess. Got himself in trouble. No, I didn't. Don't listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> because of freedom of speech, we were, we were down in Philly at a protest, and uh, <laughs> hi. But anyway, uh, does anybody else would like to say anything before we start this? Got anything we said? All right. Well, we're gonna start the movie. Um, I I turned Steve on to this movie when we did our United Nations back in I think December. We did had our meeting on it, and. Even people who think they know about the UN, this movie shows you more than you ever thought of. It's crazy how they connect all the dots. So. Yeah, it's only a 45 minute documentary, but it's very informative and um, it kind of reminds me of a, of a of a movie we used to watch in, in, in like high school in a history class. You know, it has that vibe, but it's it, it's fun though in a scary way. It's very notes. informative though. You might want to take notes, and it basically lays out the history of the United Nations and the groups that basically want to destroy our constitution. It goes from like the past to the present. So it's a pretty good film. And afterwards, you know, we're gonna try to you know form a circle or the best that we can, so everybody can see each other and have a discussion about it. Is it on YouTube? It, it's on YouTube. Yes. It's called, it's called the, the UN Deception. Are they going to be done that? I'll tell her to come over. But this was filmed in 2001, right after September 11th. So if you want to push play and I'll just turn the light. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's going. So did you guys enjoy it? Yes. Did you learn anything? Yes. I knew I hated it before, now I really hate it. Yeah, I, it's what I said. And there's so much more that isn't on this video. Like, I mean, this was back in 2000, I want to say it was maybe 2000. 2000. Yeah, I see. I figured it was yeah. pretty dated. Um, and, you know, the attack on abortions, population control, um, eminent domain, the land grab, small farm. This is happening now, but this video was, what, 15 years ago? When was the Cumbia? When was that? 19... 80 something was it? Yeah, I was going to say, it was like, I was going to say late 70s, but maybe it was before, before, it before my... I wondered why, I just had no idea how bad that was. That, neither so, did I. Then. And I grew up in the U.S. What was it? I said, neither did I, but I grew up in the U.S. I kind of was aware of it, but I didn't. I had no yeah, idea that the U.S. went to the U.S. Yeah, I mean, that. 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 I mean, has has anybody like heard of UNESCO? And all that yeah. stuff? I have no idea yes. that they're the ones well, that affected. Yeah, you went to our meeting. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 But, um, you know, yeah. UNESCO is definitely the brainchild behind the Common Core. And if anybody doesn't know the Common Core, is come to our meeting mm -hmm. because it's scary. <laughs> the thing I'm really worried about, you know, the one with the UN, is like a, when a bunch of countries can get together and they can, you know, 
they decide the world's fate. And the second part is the, the state of currency wars right now is where are the states like, like uh, countries like G20 summits and all that stuff are deciding how much you know, how much countries can inject into their economies just just manipulating you know money in, in general and just again it's just like if you, you call a new world order you call it whatever but I mean that, that's kind of like the is currency wars currency wars is, is big and it affects everyone's life. Yeah, I mean this the scary part about it all is is that it's probably a group of 15, 20 people sitting in a room deciding the fate of everybody. And from all different countries, it's not, you know, it's not just U.S. people, it's, it's everybody. But you should go to the bathroom, can I borrow Right, I may ask you to go to the bathroom. Um, you know what, um, before we have our open discussion, I'd like to invite Darren up to speak for like 30 seconds. He wants to tell us, you know, why he brought this flag, which everybody, you know, wiped their feet on the way up. You know, as you don't know already, it's the United Nations flag. So give it up for Darren Wolf. He was our guest speaker of the year at our party. He just wanted to say a few things about why he brought that flag. <laughs> yes, I'm sure all of you saw this uh, flag on the floor where it belongs. Yeah. Can I have a big boo for the UN? Boo! All right, this is a tradition that, um, that I first learned about when I was with the Libertarian Party uh, at the Libertarian Party of Pennsylvania conventions. The <coughs> Montgomery County Hospitality Suite always has the UN flag on the floor. <laughs> and you, to get into the hospitality suite, you got to wipe your feet on it. <laughs> There's some very creative people in the Libertarian Party that do all kinds of things with this flag. Uh, Things like this and other ways of showing the due respect for the uh, UN flag. That's I just wanted to give you the history of the flag on the floor. So thank you. All right, thank you. All right, well, um, you know, we all watched the movie. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys would like, somehow we could just like, I don't know, I don't know how we can create a circle in here, but we'd like to have an open discussion about this this video somehow. Talk about turn it. Your chairs just just around. talk about it. Everybody yeah. can just turn their chairs around. We're we can face something. everybody sometime, yeah. you know, a little bit and you know, just talk about it. Somebody <laughs> can start off, you know, what they think about, you know, the United Nations or you know, they call it global government or the New World Order. You know, just to create a conversation. Something we're trying to start new. Um, so we, we're going to talk about, you know, anything about this video or anything that you know about what's going on as far as being a global citizen. And then after this, you know, we, if we have time, we're going to bring up some relevant events like the NSA and stuff. So somebody wanted to start off. You already got your hand up. I just want. I don't know if anybody saw the speech that recently that Biden gave in Europe. Yep. Did you see it? Yeah, I, I seen that. Biden. Oh, do you want to tell everybody? That's all right. You can say that. Okay. Um, <laughs> Vice yeah. President Joe Biden in Europe recently, must have been about a month ago. No, in, in April. Yeah, April. Yeah, in April, he gave, he gave a, a speech in front of, I think, some central bankers. It was something like that, talking about how we need to achieve a new world order and how we need to, you know, think about things differently and and go about it a little differently. So, so Biden actually brought this up, you know, in April. So we have presidents, former presidents, vice presidents that are talking about the same stuff that we've seen in this video. But his, his goal, if you heard the speech, was to lower our standards so that we would meet with the rest of the world's low standards. Mm. And that's why the Common Core comes in place, the fact that they're destroying us financially, all those things have to do with the respect that they need to lower our standards in the U.S. so that we can e be equal with the rest of the world. Yeah. But his standards won't be lowered. See, what they're going to do exactly. is eliminate That's the a middle good point. class. They're eliminate the middle class. And, and that's how they're, they're going to opt out. They're going to have an elite class and a servant class. They already do, yeah. basically. That, that, com that comes along with currency wars as well. Yeah. Just want to put that out. I mean, yeah, no, it does. What we do is, the Keynesian economics, the economics, all they do is the Federal Reserve just injects money into the system. Right. The rich get it first. They borrow yeah. close next to nothing. So, I mean, they're borrowing yeah. billions at no, uh, something like the federal funds rate. It's like point zeros. They're close to next to nothing. Like, and then when you're getting an interest rate of three, four percent, they're still making two, four, four percent. But that's not market value. It's all manipulated values. So all they're doing is they're stealing from depositors. Anyone who has deposits in the bank, they're stealing right from you, and they're funding the speculators, people who you know are getting loans. Possibly businesses are getting loans. They're just funding these loans, and if they can't pay them back, big bubble is just going to happen again. 
There you go. Right, that's 2008. The big and it's, 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 and it's all, it was all planned. It was designed they were to all get people out of their it, homes. It's inevitable because, so I mean, yeah, you have, you have horrible monetary policy, horrible fiscal policy. I mean, you have derelicts that are in there creating your, you know, you're giving your tax dollars. You are well, the, no, you are the shareholders. And what? see, everybody says Obama's incompetent. There's no incompetence here. He it's exactly deliberate. What he's doing. It yeah. is all deliberate. Well, he's a, he's a constitutional <coughs> lawyer. If anyone sees how his his aging well, house, because mm -hmm. he knows what he's doing. Yeah. Oh, George yeah. Bush, he was an yes. idiot. He yes. was a guy who was just thrown out there. Obama's a constitutional well, lawyer, so he you can see, see what he's doing. You have a lot of power when you act innocent and dumb. Yeah. So everyone knows that. So don't tell me that Bush. Did. No, no, George Bush was definitely put in there. It, it, it was. Oh, I mean, yeah. if you actually listen, I, I was a. I, it was a hard day when I realized it. But me too. Like yeah. I literally. I, I mean, I was down for the calls. And, and George Bush, I hated anybody who hated him. But um, when you actually see, when you see that in the beginning, remember how they said in the video how in the beginning they tried to reverse all the policies and then eventually they that's what he did if you re, if you remember his first right. term right. he did he tried to turn away from everything his dad put in place as far as the united nations everything like he was he was um rejecting all the treaties that his dad had signed in and that was building a smoke screen and building and then all of a sudden and then 9 11 happened and that's a whole other story, but yes. you know what I mean. And yeah. then the Patriot Act, and then it was like, you know, right. It happened. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're all just byproducts of our environment. Yeah. I mean, we if we, I mean, I, to me, I, I believed. I mean, I'm a young guy, but I, I believed everything that the mass media tells you to tell you. You know, sure. government's always right. Government says yeah. government. Right. They, they give we you all a, they, that. and they give yep. you information that you say. You know, how can the media lie to us? I mean, right. they're, they're the media. I mean, right. and then you realize when you see the the actual. Um, the effects or you see the actual what they're doing and they need this common sense I mean right. just use your brain I mean you don't have to have a tele television screen to tell you what to do just just, just yep. think to yourself I mean is this right is this right that we're we're killing people with drones or is it, is it, is it right that we're you know doing mass atrocities and just okay. think to yourself Does everybody like, yeah. remember mm -hmm. I'm going to say something about the John Birch Society I remember when I was young that I'm not going to say how long. <laughs> a year or two. Um, <laughs> the, the John Birchers. Oh, they're racist. Uh, yes. Oh, they yeah. were the original deemed yeah. racist. Yeah. They were demonized. What? They are not racist. No. The Paul. John Birch Society. Back, back in the 50s. Back in the 50s. They were the yeah. first ones. Yeah. The, they were the yeah. original whistleblowers. Yeah. They yeah, knew all this they were. way back then. They and they outlined it. They were po putting publications out on this. So John Birch Society is way ahead of the game. Yeah, we go. I, I I go on their site quite often, and I the U, United Nations information I found out was primarily from them. Not even gonna lie, like I, was I a got teenager it. And they were I mean, we got that magazine all through yeah. the nineties when, when our kids were your age. Right. Your kids are getting back. I'm in I'm in my late fifties. I think it was least disturbing too is how remember how we had the um, change from analog to digital and they had all, all of a sudden mm -hmm. like our bankrupt government had all this money to pay people to go oh, buy yeah. the boxes to convert to t the TV and I'm like they have a big interest in getting everybody to watch TV like 24-7. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, that's true. Seems drink, drink, yeah. Yeah. Some drink cool yeah. 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 and they're not doing some yeah. NK Ultra. Yeah. 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 Control the way people think. It reminds me of a TV set transmits information but it also receives information. Oh yeah. If you have one of those in your house, they are able through fusion centers to look what's going on in your house. They do. You brought a fusion. You brought a fusion center, right? I don't want one. Okay, it, this gentleman brought a fusion center. Do you guys know what a Homeland Security fusion center is? No. no. Okay, they're building one in South Philly. What this year? It's a fusion center where. Um, it's, it's a huge building where they collect all this data. I don't care if the NSA collects it or if they say, hey, you know, we're the terrorists because we're anti-New World Order. It, it, it's, a, it's sort of like a, a collection of data where they store it so other... It would be a metabyte. Yeah, Each exactly. Each person has a metabyte file. It's like a mass collection of data against us or against people that are against their agenda, which, you know, this, this, this documentary laid out. And it's going to be built in South Philly. Um, I don't... I watched this one documentary on the fusion centers. They've just been coming out, I guess, what, the past few years? They've been building up in certain regions throughout oh, the United States. What's his name? Conspiracy theory. Yeah, Jesse and Tora said it. Ventura did you know? this whole yeah. documentary on and, it. And I, and I didn't believe it. I fact-checked it. Colorado and, and different yeah. places in the Midwest. And, and when he interviewed one of the, one of the I don't know what you call them, the, the presidents or CEOs of each regional uh, Department of Homeland Security fusion center, and he's like, 
oh, do you collect data for people that organize protests against the good government? He's like, yes, we do. Sure. So they're building one of these in South Philly. It's all about, like they said, control. <laughs> And yeah, it's, I mean, it's real, it's not... Yeah, just wanted to point it out the, since you mentioned that. One of the things that I understand about fusion centers is that the, it's the, the idea is also to integrate yeah. law enforcement and even the military from the local, state, and federal level. Because the, the way the original, if you go by the Constitution, it's supposed to be separate government. <coughs> and the idea of fusion is to bring them all Collusion. together. It's, yeah. it's Collusion, military, yeah. it's local police, yeah, it, it's the federal, and it's people in the community and business. It's a fusion of everything. We're all supposed to be spying on one another and reporting on one another. And then the fusion center allows them to tap into that information. So you'll have, you should have just a regular community person who they'll choose in the community, we don't know. You know, and then you'll have a local business person. And, and then, of course, the police and then the military also. So if you think your neighbor is doing something that is not right, you can contact your representative in your neighborhood who will then contact the fusion center. Yeah. Which brings us to Agenda 21. <laughs> it is. That's what it's for. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. And, and like I said, this was back in 2001. They were talking about Agenda 21. Now, the Tea yeah. Party groups are just starting really, like, getting one in the past, what? Year and a half, two years. Yeah, I didn't find out. About you know what I mean? Like that's ago, when you find you know? out about it. But this was ten years ago, and then <laughs> they were had signed that in. So think about all the stuff they did behind the scenes that we yeah. don't know about. And you know, that is all going to come out. They do it behind the scenes, out in the open. Did oh yeah. You hear about these? Is the NGO? Is that what they call mm -hmm. them? Those yeah, non-governmental non organizations. organizations. Yes. That came to Hilltown, Bucks County, where I was living at the time. And uh, we didn't know what it was. We knew it wasn't right. We knew it wasn't part of the government, but we didn't know exactly what it was because our government leaders were involved in it. Our, the township supervisors were involved in this, and they held this meeting, and certain people were invited. And I, being the, just like you at the time, uh, I went anyway. <laughs> and I and I took my chair and I went up and I put it right next to the table. Oh, Mal, you can't sit here. I'm there. Why not? This is about my township. What's going on? I want to know. And I was listening in, and they, you know, were a little afraid of me at the time. They didn't know how to get me out of there. <laughs> we have but, a 99 percent here. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You know, they were doing this at, right in our town at the uh, at the Pearl <clears throat> is a Pearl Buck house. On that property in mm -hmm. Bucks County, right in their barn, they had that meeting. Wow. We were at a town wow. meeting um, last year about like development that they're trying to do at the end of our street, and a college kid who doesn't even reside in our town normally comes in and hands an Agenda 21 thing to the people council mm -hmm. and says, review this please, and they're like, okay, well, it'll be on this such such meeting, whatever, and then he leaves. He doesn't even live in our town. You know, that's and normal. he's presenting that's, this for our normal. council. That's like, normal. who are you? Well, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, anytime you hear open space, sustainable development. Yes. That's he straight all. out said Agenda yeah. 21. Yeah, I mean, like, he's like, yes, now, he's like you know, I, I don't think you could honestly go through it. I mean, I live in Montgomery County, I live right here, and I don't think you could go through a town around here that you won't see an open space sign or a sustainable development or some type of sustainable improvement. And the thing is with a, yeah. I'm sorry, the thing is with Agenda 21 in Montgomery County, they actually recognized Agenda 21 and they verbally outlawed it. They said, we're not going to do Agenda 21. They rejected it. They rejected it. it. Agenda 21 Montgomery County, but, you know, but so they implement those it's still going on. Laws in yeah. the local ordinances. It's not county. It's yeah. not run by the counties. No. It's, it's run by regions, which is different. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And that's why, and they, they just make decisions that have, that and are not regulated in I any mean, way. Part of it is getting uh, control of all the waterways. They want to control our food. They want to control they our water. Have. Monsanto. Up, up <laughs> in uh, where my mother grew up, uh, northeast of Harrisburg, um, they they said, "Oh, we're going to put in a dam." So we got to buy up all the um, all the lands around this the Swatar uh, Creek, Swatar Creek in Lickdale, <coughs> and. Um, so they bought all the land, they rerouted the road around, and, I mean, the roads that have been there forever and ever. Um, and then, all of a sudden, once they had all the land, they said, oh, we don't have enough money for the dam. Uh, wow. That was the big lie. The dam oh. was the big lie. They just wanted the land. They wanted to be able to kick everybody out. 
before the guise of a new uh, water project for Lebanon, mm -hmm. the city of Lebanon, and then they just say, oh, we don't have enough money for the, the dam. It was under that premise. Yes, they lied. They just flat out lied. <laughs> so whenever you hear these, no, these nice projects, oh, the dam, you know, that, that's all a big lie. Uh, it's funny once you start seeing things like this, you start understanding what's going on, you know, what, what kind of agenda, you know, th these people in the high positions of power have, like the Council on Foreign Relations, the, um, another group is called the Club of Rome, and then you start connecting, yeah, there's so many groups, the Club of Rome, you start connecting the dots, then you just, just see, <laughs> you know, just like, you know, um, common core. Yeah. You know, you start see, seeing all these things, and they're just all connected. You know, the Trilateral Commission, all these groups that are just hell-bent on destroying our, our, our sovereignty, our individualism. And it's amazing, you know, once people start waking up to the fact of that. You're like, you know, just yeah. like you said, you start noticing things like that. And, with, okay. and it blows your well, mind. You actually, like, if you go on to the Department of Education website, it says that it uses the UNESCO... Yes. You know, yes. it actually has lines. I don't remember exactly what it said, but it actually says March 14th, 2012. It started using the UNESCO mm -hmm. standards. Yeah. And, and there's Which there's is dozens. Important. There's dozens. I don't know. There's a ton of groups out there for global citizens, global children. It's all about you know a curriculum. You know for the what the collective instead of you know they don't want you to be free thinkers and that's why it's important to homeschool yes well and no, i i go and no, the work core is going to affect homeschooling yeah, I and they said it's yeah. even going to affect um even the amish are going to have yeah, really? under amish, the really? standards yeah. yes oh. yeah no it's dr it's, peg lucic mentioned it uh, mentioned it last okay, week. Yeah. Yeah. It was one thing. It was one though. thing when it was public schools, not we'll saying that people don't deserve a good education. Right. I paid yeah. a lot of money for my and they kids to go to private reason. school, yeah. and when they implemented it, I flipped out. It just happened this year, sure, and I flipped out. I was point? like, what is if, the point? if you honestly, if you go in and you look at this stuff, I, it's hard. I tutor. I tutor a fifth grader, and I had to literally relearn everything that she to teach her because it was completely different. It's not adding and subtracting and multiplication anymore. Right. It's, no. it's horrible. And I'm going to, when we have our video, or when we have our presentation on that, that's my thing. So it's, you we, know. We've organized. I'll talk to you about it later. But we've actually organized where if we put this, implement the situation in place, put it in place properly, we can overturn all of it in about five years. I just want you to know that it was a very special meeting. It was actually kind right. of private. Yeah, it counts. But if there's enough people that are interested, we can bring them on board with approval. Yeah. And they have a whole, they actually have a whole system in place, just like Michigan was able to overturn. Yeah. Well, it took yeah. them, I think, seven or eight years to do it. We're going to do it in five. It's even I'm just letting you I mean, know. This All right, we're talking. It's even at the level of like, like I tutor for Johns Hopkins online, and they have a lot of sustainability programs. They have I'm a lot sure. of Rockefeller funding. Sure. They have a lot of robotics. Like all these like words that are like, oh wait, let me check this again because it seems failure. suspicious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't. And they don't. No one sees it. Like I mean, they just keep <laughs> going with their. Because agenda. they don't know their yeah. rights. They right. don't know how. It's like right. the Bible. Exactly. You know how to identify evil by knowing what's in the Bible. Well. You gotta know what's against your government by knowing what's in the government, what's in our constitution, yeah. and then yeah. you can I mean, recognize what's yeah. bad. It's just heartbreaking because it's like they're so proud that for promoting all this sustainability right. and how great yeah. they are with the environment, and like they don't realize they're being like led down the path. You know what I mean? They don't. It's I don't so remember strange. seeing a commercial literally in the past two years that doesn't have something about That's global, yeah. like about something great, like great. enhancing yeah. a global. That's world. right. Yeah. It's literally, right. I, I everything. I and I've seen signs like I was driving down the turnpike the one day and it was literally blah blah global for a better yeah. global community and like this is this is everywhere but uh, people think that it's a good thing I thought it was a good thing a couple of years ago wow you know we were talking about NAFTA the North American Union you know let's somebody you know they're talking about you know let's uh, combine currencies three countries under the same currency wow it could be a good thing but then you got to think about yeah. who is in control of that you know it's a you don't really think about oh there's people above that that are in control that you know want to harm us and take more control well, so we just got to figure out how to reach more people you know well, you, you without you sound crazy. currency with Canada we fought a war of independence against yeah. the British Empire yeah. and we merge our currency with the British Empire exactly right. well, yeah. and as soon as you, as soon as you come up with something yeah. like the Bitcoin yeah. they attack it like as soon as the Bitcoin got popular and people actually started knowing about it it was under all sorts of surveillance and yeah, mel, you know mel, so mel, goose, it's uh, scaring mel people. Gox. Yeah, for those of you, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, mel, mel Gox is one of the biggest uh, uh, traders of uh, Bitcoin, and 
Um, the fed, uh, the feds went right after Mount, Mount Cox, right when Bitcoin got there. They just shot, they shot it down like that. How about the Liberty Dollar? Um, they tried to shut us down. Oh, you made that, right? Well, I, we I, made it, yeah. I heard about that. Yeah. Even Texas, too. Texas has their own. Obama is not a CFR. Hillary, 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 Hillary Clinton no, is a Bill CFR. Clinton, Clinton something about the he is something in the UN, which is not legal. Oh, I don't know. I'm sorry. John Kerry's a CFR. Michelle Obama is a CFR. Is Michelle a CFR? Angelina Jolie's a CFR. <laughs> so, I shouldn't be surprised, but... <laughs> Last night I went to our local township meeting, and there were some things that were taking place there that I would have never paid attention to before, but because I know now what's going on, it was quite interesting. And the engineer, was giving his reports and he was talking about that these different committees met and one of them was renewable and sustainable and I went so I stood up this is very interesting I stood up and I said can you expand on that like I'd like you to tell me exactly what took place during that meeting and he says oh I don't have those records he said somebody else does and I said well I want them I want them so the secretary took my name and everything so that she could make sure that I got a copy of what's going on but what was interesting is two people figured out what I was looking for and two people came up to me and gave me their names and numbers and said you know we're we, UN Agenda 21 right and I'm like yes that's great but what happened was this the part that really freaked me out last night we have an airport that's located just out it's like in Sats it's like in Chester County it's it's out a little ways and the, the FAA just gave funding to this airport to expand this airport, okay? And they wanted these airport connections between D.C. and Philadelphia. Guess what else they put in place in the same location? They put in National Guard. <laughs> what would you say? No, it's just <laughs> <drivers. laughs> Well, oh, that's up here somewhere. That's up here somewhere. Well, that's Horsham okay. Air Base. Yeah, yeah, that right. uh, now, they put in a National Guard down there. And is it Sikorsky um, helicopters? What's the name of the helicopter? You know what I'm yeah, talking Sikorsky about. Is it Sikorsky? Helicopter. Yeah. Sikorsky helicopter is now oh. down there. So I know that there are plans, military plans. Who's the rep that? there by any chance? The like, reps are going to be changing. We're getting. I know what I mean right now. Well, Tim Hennessy. Where, where is this at? What's happening? Rafferty's one of them. Sadsbury. I was going to say because Sadbury. I mean, if, I, you know, if you guys live local, yeah. Valley Township, yeah, right. Valley Township, Sadsbury. Yeah, right. Sadsbury. Yeah, right. Sadsbury. Yeah, right. I mean, if you guys live local, like uh, Jim Gerlach was one of the oh, main people for the please. FEMA centers. Yeah. Like, if you guys, I mean, if you guys have ever seen that, I don't generally watch Jesse Ventura, but I have, they made me watch that one. And it's literally like the internment camps that the Japanese were in. It was, the playgrounds were there, and they were like, the, the guards outside were just like, it, it's gone to school for Yeah, I know like, they literally, let anybody they in, I saw that one too. But it's, it's there. Gerlach is a huge funder for the yeah. UN. Did you see? And they just reintroduced the bill. I, I have he's, a, he's a Republican Did too. Did anyone see online, I'm just curious, <laughs> Has anyone, this is going back now a couple years, did anyone see online that they have these Air, Air Force bases that literally have runways, literally loaded with UN Jeeps and vehicles? I mean, thousands of them. Oh. And this one guy actually had used Google Earth and before they shut it down and changed it uh. so there was nothing on it, I got a, a glimpse. I could not believe the thousands of UN vehicles that are already set up in the U.S. This is going back about two to three years ago. Did anyone else see this stuff that I'm talking I don't remember. about? Remember, loaded are all of, like all these different places. Some of the places have been closed down. They're just using those areas to to stockpile. And I, I just couldn't believe it when I saw it. But That's right it. after it came up, I'd say within a day or two, it was taken down, Early. and they changed the Google Earth so that when you Googled those those um, different things on mm -hmm. the maps. You couldn't say we're all blacked out. Blacked yeah. out. Yeah. Well, that's all about Agenda 21 control. You know, it's all like they're they're you know it seems like they're preparing for civil unrest. 1.5 billion dollars worth of ammunition while they're trying to take away our guns. Uh, they're planning for the they're planning for the uh, future ahead. Because yeah, yeah, some, they are. At some point, the again comes back to currency wars. Come on, saying over and over again because as soon as the dollar yeah. is 
nothing. Yeah, it's it's what, 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 what do you have? You're, 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 you're going to go to your gas station. Yeah. What are you going to pay for your gas? I mean, you ain't going to be able to pay dollars because you can rather just wipe your butt with it. Um, <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, the things that people take for granted. People say, you know, things are pr produced for me. I get my electric every week. I get my gas every week. My car's got gas. Um, things that you see as commodities that are provided for you. As soon as a dollar goes. How you get those? And that's that's where civil unrest will come. And that's when people say it's every man for himself. And that's what they're preparing for. But it, it takes groups like this. It takes groups like getting people together and get it organized. And where we say, you know, we won't let society fall. We are we are the society. We have to build it up. So. We all know that the biggest act of rebellion you could do, or one of the biggest acts of rebellion you could do, is plant your own garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah, grow your own food. People are growing in their houses now because of that. Because they're worried about people shutting them down. Yeah. Yeah. Because they don't want chemtrails all over me. <laughs> That's yeah. another. I was outside so yesterday for meeting. two hours, and there was this plenty of this circling. Yeah, there was definitely a black color. Oh, there was a tower right here. It was definitely a tower in the sky. Yeah, yeah I remember. No, it wasn't one of those days. Oh. This was just a plain circling oh. of my house for two hours. Oh, I swear. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I believe it. I, not, I believe it. it. No, not at all. Yeah. Not, not think too about the Horsham Air Base. I mean, I, I've looked up in that area for like the like since I've been born. But I mean, that that area used to be like the uh, that was closed for the longest time. It was actually like it's so contaminated yeah, it up there. It, they used to dump all nuclear waste really? up there. Like the place was just like obliterated. And that's it, why they it, can push yeah. drones because they won't put yeah, humans in there. Well, 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 the thing is, they, they were planning. They uh, they passed in 2020. I guess after the drones are seen unuseful, I guess they're actually planning just to demolish it and put a whole community through it. It's, it's already been passed. They're building like a. They have everything proposed. 2020. It's not even like they're not even gonna start building it for the next 10 years. Like why are they building nothing there for 10 years? Yeah. It's simply. They're putting drones there, they're going to use them for as long as they can, and then as soon as the drones become, I guess, obsolete, they'll just make condominiums and Walmarts. <laughs> What's funny, you said the, the nuclear waste and the radiation. Have you guys heard uh, recently, I, I found it on this government website where people, you know, receive order, that the government, where the government looks to purchase certain things, I forget what it's called, certain government contract. It's open, it's free to the public to look. Uh, last week, the government has actually uh, sent out, they finalized a contract through private companies where they're going to recycle or nuclear wa waste and radioactive material. We can use that. They're going to put that in recycling plants, you know, for a profit because they got to get rid of it somehow. Didn't Harris and that's going to, that? I don't know, but they're, they're going to recycle it into our silverware, into products and things like that. So I don't know if you guys are aware of that. I, on my website, 1776rising.com, I put all that on there. It's a government website where they, they awarded a contract to three different companies throughout the United States where they got to you know, it, it costs money to store that, that nuclear waste so, or, and that metal, so they got to do something with it, right? Yeah, they put yeah. they put mer mercury in your teeth from the time yeah. you're a kid. Yeah. And, and yeah. Yeah. So that's that's another thing about control. Yeah. That's, an, that, that's another thing about uh, what we're gonna have for the next few few months. You know, uh, how, how they're poisoning this. us, how they're yes. trying to, you know, control us yeah. and things like that. Yeah. And I mean, I have, you know, like, I everybody talks about money, like about I mean, and the Federal Reserve is definitely the root of all evil, but. You know, <laughs> this, this budget, these budget problems and stuff like that, and they need these thousands of dollars to go and clean up streets and stuff like that. Well, there is a kid from Norristown that we know from when we were doing in the car scene um, that organized 15 people to go to one of the worst streets in Norristown last week, cleaned up five streets, cut the alley down, picked up all the glass shards. Wow. For free. Just to volunteer. 22-year-old yeah. kid. Now he's having another one on the 29th. I want to go, and I want to be. I, and I hate to play party politics on this one, but I'm going to be wearing my Republican shirt, <laughs> and I'm going to get all of my Republican, young Republican friends, and, I, I, and I'm going out there. I, and it's on Moore Street, so if anybody knows Narstown, it's been drug dealing. By far, I would say the worst street in Narstown. But uh, I mean, I'm going to probably be carrying too. But uh, <laughs> but you know, I I, I want to go, like. and I think that I think that yeah. this is how we bring people in. They need to see that the average person is going out, and it's not politicians. And then it'll just make the politicians look like the crooks that they are. Well, when so, you, well, yeah. well, the people are supposed to be the community. If you let the government be co do the responsibilities yeah, right. of the other people, then you've simply just got rid of the responsibilities of the people. So. Yeah. Well, Somebody, Unfortunately, somebody recently up an event page. For I that. absolutely will. Somebody recently sent me something that I thought was so interesting. You know, we've been raised 
to watch these hero films, mm -hmm. you know, Rambo and, and what's his name, uh, Bruce Willis and mm -hmm. all. And everybody thinks that somebody is going to be the hero and come in and do everything right. for Jesus us. Jesus is going to come yeah. in. Like, well, well, I know that, but besides that, <laughs> I understand, I understand, I understand, <laughs> I understand, you're right. But what I'm saying besides that, I'm saying that the average public, the average <laughs> Joe, thinks that if there's trouble, somebody like that's going to eventually come out and do whatever. And they just don't realize that's never going to that, happen. That's us. If that's, we don't, if it's, yeah, if, right, you know, right. if it's going to be done, it's going to have to be us. Yeah, and, and that's so the problem all, with our foreign yeah. policy. It's all inside right. of us, so, you know, we just need to awaken, you know, on a, on a level of consciousness. we got to, you know, get step outside of the prison that, you know, the mainstream media is putting us in. You know, they're all just corrupting our mind with, you know, all, all, all these poisonous ads and, you know, you know the news and telling us what to do and what to wear and everything. You just gotta, you know, come. You guys are all awake here. You're at this meeting, you know, and that's a good it's, step. We just gotta figure out how to bring more people here. Uh, you know, uh, what's that? It's gonna be still on your butts at home watching the Kardashians. You know, yeah. 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 It's like my hair. Oh. Oh. Hey, I, I, I killed my TV like a year ago. I don't even have cable anymore. Yeah, I mean, I and all, my whole family, my whole family voted for Obama, so it's like you should imagine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. For and I'm, I mean, they all came to the first anniversary party and they. Were like it was a little bit too much politics, but I'm proud of you. <laughs> like they didn't, they didn't have any negative criticism, but it was definitely wow. like yeah, people. This is what you do. People got to understand it's not politics. It's like no, it's you know, it's freedom. Not. We're fighting for our freedom, and that's exactly what it is. It's not, it's not, it's not your freedom. I was talking about the law grow. It's not your yeah. freedom. It's your your children, yeah. your grandchildren, right. yeah. and they're. I mean, that, that should be everyone's priority. Yeah. Uh, don't leave this earth as, uh, you know, as someone else will fix it. Right. You are the, you are the, That's right. you are the, you are the Has fixer. Has anybody noticed at all? I don't know if any of you drive on the 202 corridor at all. If you drive on yep. the 202 corridor, have you noticed what's been going on on the 202 corridor at all? Right. The construction? <laughs> Do you notice that they have walls? I checked this out. I've driven almost all of 202. They literally, and this really concerns me because I always think of, I know you, some of you guys are so young, you probably don't even, but you know, behind the iron curtain type stuff. It, they, they have literally walls up and every single inch yep. now like this of wide. the entire 202. And if there isn't, yep. they have, if you look, they have fencing yep. so that you cannot escape. They have, everything is completely um, now, I guess you know this, the cameras are everywhere. They even have scanners now that are placed underneath the signs. If you see them, yeah, so that you when you're going them. through, they can actually read your um, license plates. And what they're doing with Agenda 21, I guess part of that, that is sounds exactly they right. are what they're doing is the local areas. If you've noticed, I don't know where all of you live. The bridges are all out, the little bridges. Yes. They've got detours everywhere yes. because they are going to force people to, go that to have to take the main yep. routes because then they have control over you. And it's going to happen next. Has anybody noticed this or is it just me? It's going to happen next. Now that cold. you say that, you're absolutely correct. It is. It's it's yeah. 422 and 202 is all going to be told. They have all those signs up the green signs, the red signs, the blue signs. And if you look at those, they're just they're directing to areas where there's airports, there's things that are going on where in my head I'm thinking to myself, I mean I hate to be so paranoid, you're, you're you're but, but in my head I'm thinking if they're going to bust people out to do what they're going to do to FEMA camps, they're probably going to get people that are not American English speaking people so that they can't be con convinced or coerced by a citizen and they'll have to follow colored signs to do their job. And so that's why I think they've got green and blue and brown and red and black. And You're they're, right. They're, they're it everywhere. Me too, because I drive it a lot. And I just think that Trans-Texas Corridor, where all the roads are like, all the towns have died on the side because there's no access to anything. And I think we're so like narrowed into this little pathway that it's very disturbing. So you know what's You ever see a movie, They Live with Roddy Piper in it? Yeah. What's it called? They Live. It seems like that. Roddy Piper about control. It's about you putting these glasses on, you can tell which ones are. Yeah. It's, that's what it is. Yeah. You, know, it's like, you, you must be a wrestling fan. Huh? Yeah, that must be a wrestling fan. That's the only reason you pop set. That's funny you brought that up about the roads and everything. Like after studying Agenda 21, like I, I noticed that like a few weeks ago, I started looking around and. It, it just seems a little odd, you know. Um, well, you know, that's what they did. I don't know if you realize it or not, but that's what they did to put the Iron Curtain up. 
Hmm. People were watching it go up in, in hmm. Germany. They didn't understand what was going on. Before they knew it, they were all prisoners in their own country. Well, and, actually, you know, all the, they're all sound barriers. That's an no, they're not sound barriers, and I'll tell you why well, I know that. Be, that. I'll tell you why I know they're not yeah. sound barriers. No, they're right not sound barriers. Some, some places they are, but that's what people think they are. If you look, some of these, some of these, some of these walls are up on hills. There is no way. There's no sound going anywhere below. If you look, they have literally take. They have literally covered. You, you can't believe to the, to the degree that they have gone to make sure that those walls are closed. And if you notice, I don't know if you notice this or not either, but they, when they were redoing the roads, they kept cutting open different sections of the road that they were putting things in. And I don't know what they were for. I, never was, I didn't know where to go to find that information out. But it, as you kept driving down the road, you would see there were sections that were actually cut out that they were putting they put something. Metal thing I don't know. I'm just telling you that it was everywhere. They had these before they repaid the roads. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I get a very bad feeling going down that road. I do you, do you see the flags? Have you seen? There are flag poles, really big high flag poles that they put a flag on top of. I believe someone told me something about they put ammunition. In those poles. Oh, wow. They well, have. Have since, you seen them? No, I didn't see them. Since you brought that up, in the next few months, we're definitely going to talk. Have, have a little. Uh, we're going to talk about the rise of the police state and, you know, things about the NGAA and they pass laws to take away our, you know, rights and a, a terrorist attack happens and then, oh, we got to, you know, disarm people, like, you know, mm -hmm. and then, like, Katrina, you know, we, we took away their guns. And we're actually going to bring that up. Uh, what you said, you know, could be a false flag. We're going to introduce that to the community as well. You know, we're just going to go on, on, on like factual stuff about you know what they have done, and, you know what they are planning to do in law. You know the stuff that's actually in uh in, in writing through the, our House representatives and our Senate and, and things like that. So I know that's, exactly that's a good where point. you mean though. Yeah, Zoe, Zoe yeah, Infowars. Yeah. Com. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, Infowars. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Alex. If, Alex if you really, yeah, there, you know what? There are there. certain websites, key websites that you can go to, and you can pretty much stay on top of just about everything that's going yeah. on right now. And I think now. if you use Start Page, that's supposed to um, like get rid of the um, address or it's the called IPS. Start Page. Yeah. yeah. So people, what is it? It's called Start, start Page. page. Like Google, Google doesn't save your information. Is it like Google? Or you have to go to Google and then write in Start Page? No, you can go to StartPage.com. Start 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 I'll try to get other ones. Start. It, it, all right, yeah. yeah or or you go in, you go to Prism. You go to Prism dash break dot org, and it shows you like conversion of like your services, your cities like Google, Apple, uh, Microsoft, and it shows you conversion of what is a similar program and untrackable. So it's called Prism. Are you really even sure that that's you know? It makes you wonder if that's a good way for them to, <laughs> well, to no, find no, no, out no. who's trying to do well, stuff. It, under yeah, that you never know. Well, the, the guy who did it is a pro, is, is a programmer. He's a, he's a, I mean, the guy's really sad. I mean, you never know. I, you quite, you quite <laughs> got a question. Question that. Yeah. Well, I mean, it does, it does show you conversion of like the same thing like you were saying, like star pages on there, uh, duck up guys. Uh, What's, what's it called? Prism. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, right. yeah, 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 I mean, what's it called? Prism. What? Prism dash break dot org. So it's an organization, a commercial. I guess I got a question for everybody. Uh, as far as related to the movie, you know, with the UN and the global government, ha does anybody have like an opinion on how maybe the CFRs and all that might affect our foreign policy and why we do what we do? It doesn't matter what president's in power. You know, we always have the same kind of foreign policy. Anybody want to maybe relate something to that? All you have to do is take a look at the YouTube video of Panetta, who was Secretary of Defense, oh, yeah. testifying oh, on Panetta, Congress yeah. that he took his orders from the UN That's right. as to whether or not he they would go to orders. war, and they would not listen to Congress. And, and that, They took all yeah. the orders. And how many wars have we gone to now? we got Libya, Nine? Yeah. Nine? Syria, Egypt. Uh, well, I don't think Syria has a but the only, I mean, the only countries right now that don't have a Rothschild central bank, Cuba, North Korea, 
Syria and Venezuela. Iran, right? Isn't it? Or isn't it? Iran. Iran. But there's also yeah. countries that aren't so, incredible. So what are our biggest threats mm -hmm. right now? Oh, yeah. Based on I know. Fox they're, News? they're fighting against them. I know. It's, it's, it's about control. They use instances. Sometimes they, you know, like for o Operation Northwoods, you know, they use certain incidences oh, to, to just go in there and, you know, promote democracy. I think, you know, I think it comes out of control. controlling resources. Controlling I mean, resources, I mean, minerals. You see, like, all the stuff was happening, like, in, uh, like, a, like Africa, in these countries that have very little resources. Same conflicts that were happening in, like, the Middle East, Northern Africa, that were highly rich in resources. You have these Southern African countries, the same exact problems. No one was intervening there because the resources were not as good as the oil and, yeah. and the copper and all these countries with these resources where suddenly you get these democracy intervention. They're not, they're not even acts of war, that's the thing, like Iraq war, um, Vietnam war. Yeah, uh, Vietnam was a police act. These aren't even, the, off at Tom, the, United, the United States has only declared war four times. That's the War of 1812, Spanish-American War, War I, World War II. Only four times the United States actually declared war. Everything else is military in interventions. They're passed by Congress, and sometimes they're passed by the UN, and they're funded by Congress. Yeah. So. And, and think about it, it all relates to you know who's in power. You can have a president that thinks he's doing well, but then you have his whole administration filled with uh, Council on Foreign Relations members, Trilateral Commission members, people, you know, like, and other groups like much. that, you know. So you could have well intentions, but then you got these people that you know, Democrat, Republican, that have an agenda, they have a goal that they want to pursue, and you, you, you the president or whoever trusts these people, and they, they listen to them. So, like, for whatever, good. like, few people that are on Congress, and maybe a handful of people, right. like, why why is it that they cannot or will not speak out? Do they, are they afraid for their lives? Are they afraid they're afraid to get reelected? They're afraid to get reelected. Everybody, Everybody will like all be like, 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 I think they're MK. Well, no, all right. Because look what a mockery. I mean, I don't know the crowd here, but a lot of them are the to reelection. They need a phone call. The few good yeah. 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 You know what? I don't. I, at this point, yeah. I, I really feel strong. Very yeah. feel oh, strong. Feel yeah. very strongly about oh, the fact you'll, you'll like that if this is not a Democratic, no. Republican yeah. war yeah. anymore. Yeah. And mm -hmm. once people realize that the titles are only used to keep people against fighting yeah. against yeah. each other, yeah. we need to realize yeah. we are human beings that need to protect our rights as human beings first. Mm -hmm. Secondly, to keep this country free. And it doesn't matter what their titles are anymore because they're all the same. They're all the same. Exactly. Like, like for example, are, sorry, are guys. Nonpartisan. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we're definitely nonpartisan. Yeah. We're, I mean, we're, I would say, speak for myself, I'm, I'm libertarian, but I'm a registered Republican because I want to get into office and try to change things from inside. You know what I mean? I want to be the people outside protesting and the person inside trying to change the law. Mm -hmm. so, and Sometimes I you got to keep one foot in and one foot out. I'd rather have a seat at the table. The so that's why I mean, Are you an approved group by the IRS? I am. I, <laughs> listen, I'm, I'm, I'm the treasurer of the young Republicans, so I'm sure I'm on something. You know? Oh, I mean, did you get your approval? Oh, no. Shh. Okay, right. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> they're working. We're, on we're it. completely. We don't really care about the IRS. We don't care about government approval. We do whatever we want in a moral sense. No, I mean, peaceful resistance. It, it yeah, goes right. back when you were saying that the you know the people, the presidents in power, like George Bush. They're puppets. Do I believe they're just he puppets. truly meant to harm the United States? Yeah. Absolutely. I don't. I actually don't believe. Oh that he, wow. I don't think he. I, oh wow. I, I don't. We better wait. No, no, no. no listen. Now, Dick Cheney. No, no, Dick Cheney, evil. Halliburton. Listen, if you if, no, 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 I don't think you're such as good. I just think some books to read. I just think that he's you read not. read those books, you will never not. even mention their name again. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, the dad, I'm not kidding. The dad's hard. evil. But I just don't yeah. think the son was smart enough, truly. He's yeah. been to bed. He never no, pulled all off. Wait, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 that's another thing. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. they all yeah. are. They all yeah. are. Yeah. I cannot come out Thank of that place. I not think everybody here probably knows what's going on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's, not, there's nothing. <laughs> Does anybody not know who what the Bohemian Grove is? At some point, humans, we we all evolve to understand our environment. I mean, we're very seekers. That's what we are. We're truth seekers. You were such. We were, I was such a Republican oh when we started. I, I mean, 
and I, you know, I was here, so I was a Ron Paul Republican, but I was still Republican. Yeah, it's about progressing, you know, you know on your that, ideals that and, and stepping outside of your like, comfort zone, and learning different things. That you know, it's about questioning your own principles and, and finding truth. You know, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure exactly most of us here. are libertarian conservatives, and you know, <laughs> might have a few anarchists in here. You know, but we're all like, you know, we're all for one thing, and that's freedom. We just right. have different ways of, of trying to pursue it. You know, right. we should we should actually have a book of the month. Yeah. Honestly, we, no, we thought or you we, could just say to so, just say, guys, read this, so we can discuss no, it. I, next I love month. the idea. No, yeah. I mean, honestly, Alice we, listen, this month. Yeah. Oh, oh you know yeah. what? That's a long I long I read that book, I love and I got to tell you, the underlying points of that book, it's not a good book. People don't understand that that is that was that was written with the intent of the elite. Well, you really she, look at that. Was, Ayn Rand was no, dating one of that. the guys from. I uh, believe that. Yeah. What's his name? Greenspan. No. That she was Ron, dating a, a Rolf Rolf child. Rolf child. But no, no. You, you were about to say. Me, no. if, that, that, if you really listen and read read that book, you'll understand that it's not what everybody thinks it is. It's you mean it gives you a second time? Maybe I'll see something. It's actually, actually, it is exactly what is going on right now, right. where the elite actually have a location right. in Colorado, underground. Right. They yeah. have they have the protection of HARP, so that uh, nobody could even right. go in there. Right. And when it's time, they're going in, and we're not going. Well, they have them all over the place, okay. for example, like the but military the, installations, just like they have in uh, oh, yeah. Pennsylvania, They're they have underground. the most, you know, since you brought that up, I figure I'd tell everybody, <laughs> the, okay, the, the most powerful place in the United States, outside of Washington, is in Pennsylvania, it's called Raven Rock, that's where the second Pentagon is, if something happens hey, to our government, it's called Raven Rock Military where's it, Base, where's it located? it's in Raven Rock, Pennsylvania, I think, <laughs> and, uh, for yeah, example, uh, it's, it's in Pennsylvania like, West, but like, since, since you brought it up, in the if anything ever does mountain, happen Northwest. with the government, that's where the, the Pentagon goes to figure, that's where they go to, you know, make decisions. The president goes there. Just want to point that out. Raven or Raven, Raven Rock. Raven. Well, Colorado right now, too, yeah. you, know, yeah. you know, where the airport is out there. Yeah. That is that is just completely. You know what? Last year, remember when we had the? Does everybody remember the last earthquake we had? The big yeah. one up and down the east that coast. Was that Do you know what that yeah. was? Do you want to know what that was? I already know. There are underground bunkers all over the U.S. They actually have a complete, full transportation system underground. A completely different world. Meant it's like more than a mile What's down. That this is all the way down. I believe what I said. And there were. <laughs> No, no, really. They, you can go online and look. You'll find it. As a matter of fact, even Jesse Ventura actually had a whole program on it. But listen to this. They bombed 13 of the bunkers. There, there, there were some people like us that went in and bombed the bunkers. And because the bunkers are connected underground, that's why that earthquake was felt all the way up the hmm. East Coast. If that wasn't the only one. There was another one that happened in the Midwest at the same time, but they did not hmm. emphasize that in the media here. Really? That's what, like, a, uh, a tectonic plate generated out of nowhere. Like, yeah, I, I didn't know there was another one. <laughs> <laughs> Where was this? What town was it? Wait, there was one in the Midwest. No, there was different states. The yeah, bunkers are in. That happened? And yeah, they, went, they, they actually put bombs in these bunkers. And oh, in all of them, and, and it went, it went straight oh, through okay. on the ground, and it caused okay. all the tremors and all the earthquakes straight up. Who's that? Who's that? There's like some, there's some like factions. Some popcorn okay. with you back there. I'm gonna get rid of it. Right, anybody else have? I know we're we're running past time. Anybody else have anything they want to say about you know anything that's going on? You need a few million dollars worth. We need to figure out like, and this is all something we can think about for next time. How to bring this? Like we're all preaching to the choir. We obviously yeah. all know what's going on. Yeah. How do we bring new people in? Like, I have an idea. What's up? Okay. The signs for the wrong, not wrong, the campaign that we did, Tom Smith and all that. If anybody has signs left in your garage, does anybody have any signs left? Medals? Campaign signs from last year. Anyone? I think it's for trash bags. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to hang on to them, so I've been spray painting them. We can just get people. And I was thinking we could write, write with a big, yeah. big mark, infowars.com, and you know, we, the NSA thing has got to wake some people up. We used to do like some people. Pretty much, pretty much says directly in your face the Fourth Amendment 
is not really relevant. That's what it, that's like really yeah. in the face of everyone. It's really in the face of every single American citizen. You're saying the Fourth Amendment. We kind of have on the books, but we're kind of not really take, you know, looking at it. And it really, it, it, yeah. it just shows you. It just like I was on Reddit. If anyone's been on Reddit before, Reddit's like the like a, a cumulative blog of the world. Like anyone in the world uses Reddit, uh, created by Aaron Schwartz. Um, I mean, you go on there. People just from other countries are like, Americans see the Fourth Amendment or like gone in the middle of their faces, and you guys aren't protesting. You guys aren't out there doing nothing. Like. It just shows you America sucks. Like, yeah. they're, they're, these are other people in other nations that are putting on Reddit, like just picture American flag. You're saying like you don't do nothing. Like what? Like what are you guys doing? Like, you know, you guys, and they yeah, see yeah. slothful people watching sitcoms. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like every, it's like it's like everyone wants to see what's the new episode of Pawn Stars, and you know, it's like yeah. you know, that's more important. Like. I can ask any of my friends. I'm a, I'm a younger kid, so like when I start talking, like oh, this has happened, this has happened, they're like, oh, I don't know what you're talking about. But then also I'm like, oh, the newest South Park. Did you see what that happened? Yeah. Or the newest, yeah. like, they know that. Yeah, they know, they know like, every every action of that. And it's like it just shows you, like, right there, That's what are you paying attention to? And like, so, yeah, I, 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 I can ask one of my friends, say, hey, do you want to come this meeting? And be like, nah, like, they yeah. important to me. Right. It doesn't bother yeah, me. Yeah, I'm not in the. We have I'm not in the. Yeah. Like, We've been around for a year. We have not had one of our even though it's friends in Orange Town. Okay. How old you are? Twenty. Sorry. Twenty. Wow, you're only twenty. Oh, you're young. Yeah. The you're beard makes you look older. Right? Uh, yeah. But you're smart. But you're smart. Well, for yes. essentially, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm going on, I mean, not, like even during high school, like I, I was mixed up to all these colleges, and I didn't know what I'd do. So I went to uh, community college up in Monaco, and uh, I was planning on going to college after that. But I, I'm not going anymore because I see that kids right now are just kids right now just aren't aren't getting jobs. And I, I was working, yeah. I was working doing sales and retail, and you just see kids there with just all college graduates. And my son went to college and came out and said I was a racist. Yeah. <laughs> no. Wait, what? What, what, yeah, yeah. what are you learning in that school? Yeah, you don't yeah. learn Mo money. People. It's not the matter of money; it's the time that really gets taken. Yeah, she's been waiting patiently. So they so can her brainwash her. Though they Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, she's <laughs> this whole NSA spying on the phone business like really struck a nerve with me um, mm -hmm. last week because I'm in school right now going for my bachelor's. I'm going to be an acupuncturist, so I think that that's worthwhile to go through all that crap. You know, the the ends justify the means. Mm -hmm. You know, because I'm not really into paying like tons of student debt and all that other stuff anyway. Mm -hmm. But that's what you have to do. You know, so but you I don't was have there. To do it. Oh, you don't ha I to have be to be a teacher. Yeah, right. Like yeah, I, yeah. I, I had. You're not going to waste that against a school if I don't right. do that. Yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. sure. Well, I'm looking, yeah. but um, it, the people in back of me. I have a police officer in one of my classes now, and like a whole bunch of just you know young adults, you know, and and they were all sitting in back of me talking about this whole NSA scandal, but they didn't really see it as a scandal, you know. Hmm. Those, she, they were saying something about it, and that perked up my ears. I'm like, huh, you know? <laughs> and and I unleashed my crazy on them that night. <laughs> they, were saying, they were saying, like, the girls there were saying about how much safer it makes them oh, feel God. to oh, know, yeah. and they're okay with it because because now they know that the government knows where the bad guys are because they're listening. They're right. and we have nothing to hide. I'm like, are you freaking insane? Oh, yes, you are. But it's rhetorical. But right. what are you what are you doing? And I just like. I'm like, they're signing orders now to target and kill Americans on U.S. soil. They're doing it. You trust these people? With their Where does it stop? Where does it stop? And like, mm -hmm. the police officer was totally on her side. I'm like, this is law enforcement, <laughs> local law enforcement. The people are supposed to be protecting us. And this is how they think. You know, I'm using him as a representation yeah. of everybody, maybe yeah, unfairly, but I don't think so. Well, you know, and I'm like, and then now I'm going to be my class. <laughs> that was it, yes. and, and that's that's the people that this is the the next generation of yeah, awful thinking thinking adults, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, that's all those guys where they offer you a jelly jar when you're starving to death to get on a train to a concentration camp. Yes. I, I've always felt that it's got to hit them personally. It does. Yeah. It's, I it think has to right. hit them financially. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that that's how some other that's person, it. I would say a lay coach so that I'm trying to appeal to their heart. That's I'm like, right. what is the that's can't think that way. Well yeah, history that, has proved that, that nobody thinks anything's gonna happen. I mean you've only gonna watch or listen to all the accounts of, of the Jewish people, even though it was obvious that, that there were they didn't know those camps existed, 
But as the, as the Jews start to disappear, I'm going to put on these trains. I mean, they were like, even to the last bit, oh, it'll be okay when we get there. Right. And they all went. And they didn't I have mean, TV are we going to be doing or this? Netflix or yeah. cable. They didn't have all that, and they still were in denial. How they many verses is it today? Just, <laughs> just look at all the stuff we have right now. Like, I tell my friends, I, I lost all my friends. Your friends. an iPod. Right? Like, that tells you. Think about it. In, 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 in the early it. 1940s, during <laughs> World War II, uh, 120,000 plus American citizens were put in determent camps because they were Japanese, That's you know. Right. And everybody's like, "Well, that's because they were Japanese, like, but they were still American were citizens." Nice. It's it, well, I was like, you know, we start talking about FEMA camps and stuff like that. Oh, it's not going to happen to us. I was like, but it did happen to us. And as soon as you say, and it, it has to hit them personally. Yeah, it can't happen here. No, yeah, it's, 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 it's like. I mean, <laughs> I'm not a Glenn Beck fan. I'm not a Glenn Beck fan, but. Yes, you are. He was on, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I don't know if you remember or not on Fox News, he had actually made an announcement in the morning. Uh, yeah. 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 He was and going to that? talk that about weird? FEMA camps that I remember night, that. Yeah, yeah. and it's somebody so must have yeah. done one of these to him because the show that night was had was nothing not, yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. And then he exactly. whispered at the end, so yeah. really strange. Alex Jones I don't about that it. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They switch back and forth, Glenn Beck and Alex Jones, they get in information. Yeah. 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 I used to like Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck and disinformation or disinformation. Yeah, there's a lot of disinformation going on. The, the head of the CIA in the 80s said, you know, our, our goal will be complete when everybody thinks what they think is the truth is actually false, you know, as a part of a, 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 of, a, of a program, I forget the name. But. Alex Jones is oh, very Oh, they have two, they have three, they have three programs on TV now, you know. I don't know if you know that or not, but they have WPHL has one called uh, America's Book of Secrets. Oh, you will yeah, see yeah. all, you will and see all of this on here. There's another one. They only release so much. They only yeah. release so much, but at least they're waking it, it people does. up. Some. I mean, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Then there's one yeah. called Controlled Opposition. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's enough to keep people yeah. Yeah. That's It's like, sort of like yeah. the Hunger Games. That's game. like the NGOs. Yeah. 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 Did okay. you want to say something? Um, well, you were talking about the Common Core before. Uh -huh. and there's a really good video um, on YouTube for free. It's a five-part video called Stop the Common Core. Is so that people walking? Um, Is that hit her thing? Because uh, she put I out think, something that was like five, I think, I think five that might be her name. Yeah, that's pretty uh, good. A dark-haired woman. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, it's really good. It's called Stop, Stop the Common Core. Core. Yeah, Core. It's, uh, it's on Twitchy. It's, it's Michelle Walken. Yeah. You know. I mean, because I didn't know anything about it. It's really, it's really shocking. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. You know, Mike's right with the plans that you saw. With the finding something that, uh, you know, finding something, finding a common ground, because that's the only way. Like, people don't realize that this, like, the gun, the gun thing, the gun registration. People don't realize that what they want is a universal. I'm not opposed to. I mean, I, I know this won't go over well with some people. I'm not opposed to some type of background check. I, I you know, I don't care about that. But a universal system where they know my doc. I know that I'm gonna hit. Them. But well, like you said, we let them register our cars. We let them. You know what I mean? It, it's it's. We give them precedent. We let them confiscate so, our money. We do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I, I would I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be opposed for a universal, I, but again, it's just like, who are you trusting this? Well, the universal, I, 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 the reason I'm against yeah. it is if because I trust with the government, I'll be, okay, the police, here, I believe. And they're going right. to know, do you know how many times doing? you pee a day. <laughs> do you know what they're doing now? I have friends that have actually gone to the doctors, their new doctor's office, and on the list is, do you own a gun? Same way. Yeah. Same and thing they, yeah. they don't Most them. people, well, here's the other question Old that's doctor. on that yeah. same questionnaire. Have you ever experienced any depression? Yeah. Oh, yeah, they because guess what? The they're going to yeah. take all that information yeah. if you and said you had a gun, it. and they're going to say, sorry, you're not qualified to have a gun. Yeah. I just I yeah. had to get a physical for my new job, and I had to answer this question. And you got a good point. Right? I said, that's sorry. why I wrote yeah. to me, and I told him he's a, never mind. I just, got, I just, got, a, I just got a new job being um, a head teacher at a, a preschool, and they made me get a DHS check. Um, FBI. FBI, the state background check, the child yeah. abuse clearance. Then I had to sign all these papers and submit to them, kinder care, giving me their full extensive check. I had to give them eight, re eight references. They were yeah. allowed to run my credit. Literally for a job teaching three-year-olds. Hey, jo <laughs> hey, jobs are scarce right now. Absolutely. Yeah. That's why I took it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I did it. I signed it over. But then I had to get a physical, of course, and they had to do a PD test and all this stuff. It's and on the physical questionnaire, when I went to do it, they gave me all those questions. 
It's a it's shame that the government this. has to get involved <laughs> in her and her you private business. Yes. None of you all wish this. I don't care. We have no I don't care. It's worse than that. I took my 17-year-old daughter for a physical. I, I just got approved though, so I got the job. Yeah, well, if there was a job. If you put none of your business, you ain't got no job. That's that's. Yeah, I mean, I. Yeah, what if you don't answer it? Just say no. Listen, I was at LA. There's another candidate. I was scared. I was honestly scared because it took five days for it to come back. I sit submitted it all on Thursday and I just got the word like at three o'clock today that everything was approved. I was actually scared. I was like, they're gonna figure out a tie somewhere and you get your license of carrying well, that you, guys, you guys should consider too that if you actually look at HIPAA, the law yeah. Oh, the yeah. if you actually read HIPAA, what it does is it restricts private citizens from exchanging information, information right. but it opens hmm. up the door to law to enforcement. Government. It specifically says law enforcement can access your medical records. Yeah, it's ridiculous. So it's sold as privacy, is but it's actually the opposite. Yeah. Right. Right. It's if you don't answer those questions, because there are doctors now who, if they don't, especially pediatricians, because all doctors ask these questions yeah. now, and especially pediatricians, where the people, if they don't like, if they get a bad vibe from parents, they don't need any reason at all to call CPS. And oh, they're no. going to do it. You right. know, they've done it to people already yeah. in Pennsylvania. It's really scary. My, my so, son hit his head. I'm like, you do not answer any questions at all. Hard of your, uh, <laughs> your <laughs> my son hit his head. <laughs> my son hit his head, and I took him to the emergency room, and CPS was called. Yeah. The, God the detective forbid. was there because he hit his head. Because neglect or I'm like, he's a boy. Well, guess what? Like, when my mother yeah. fell and we went to the emergency room, they put me out of the room so they could ask my mother mm -hmm. if I beat her up. Yeah, yeah, yeah they, they, they I mean, that's the yeah. kind of stuff yeah. that's yeah. going on. Yeah. 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 They, they they hospitals, hospitals will have to do yeah. that because of liability. Like hospitals, like, yeah. there's so much liability to hospitals. If they don't ask you that question and something does happen, well, they they'll come you, back yeah, and take you to court and say, you didn't answer me that question until something. Gypsy lawyer that comes out and says, I want your money, you know, because you didn't answer. So they have to do it for mm -hmm. legal representation. Do they ask men that, though, victim of yeah. domestic? We, we're do we're do supposed that. to ask everyone. I, I, I mean, I know that I've always been asked, but I didn't never yeah. actually yeah. ask it. Yeah. Everyone who's admitted to the yeah. hospital has to ask if you feel safe in the room. You know, and, and you're supposed to ask them while they're by themselves. Now, how often people actually do that depends on how far yeah. the practice is. I've never not, every time I, mean, I, I take my I mom in, every time I take my mom in, I just wonder if you can get emergency. Every time I take my mom in, over and over. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. what hospital we go. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of domestic abuse, Darren. Maybe you can. <laughs> maybe, no, he, he doesn't beat his wife. Okay. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you can enlighten us with what's going on in Norristown. Didn't you go to that meeting about? Have you guys heard about? Oh, what, no, oh yeah. No. Uh, I know. I know. Do you know about more about that? that or? Yes. I was um, busy. My wife was beating. He was busy. Uh, he was busn't 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 for oh, yeah, if you call the cops for domestic yeah, yeah, yeah. violence. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. If your husband's beating you up, you call three yeah. times, guess so what? Basically, they're telling them not to call. Yeah. Well, Mike there, wow. he, yeah. he That's it's crazy. fighting against wow. him. And it, it's real. Like, I mean, if you're, you're the victim and you the call. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the thing is, it gives leave. more, uh, it get, the reason why you get evicted because the landlord has to evict you because they want to have a safer community. And guess what? It seems like it gives more, it seems like the police nowadays are more about protecting the state than, you know, well, the people. Or the, or the, or, you know? or the criminal. It's giving well, the criminal yeah. more rights. What's going to, I mean, what's going to happen? Obviously, we know when the financial system collapses, but what's going to happen when the welfare system collapses? <sighs> Like, has well, anybody well, actually well, ever thought about that? How many people yeah, that are on out here well, looking they, for us in the suburbs? Like, well, I, I, I mean, no, yeah. you're talking yeah. about here. Like, you know, I'm, I'm talking about Narstown. I know the girl, a girl I work with makes the same exact wage as me. Thank you. But I'm not on any government assistance. But, and I could be because of my heart condition. But my, the girl I work with makes the same exact wage is on Section 8, is on food stamps, is on CCI and the gravy they, 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 they go to school yeah. for that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> just because <laughs> she didn't get married and I did. Mm -hmm. like they punish you. We had two kids, we had everything, they punish exactly, you but I got having a family. I got married. Well, at, yep. some, at some point, wow. the uh, the water runs dry in the well. Absolutely. So, I mean, the, I'm just, I mean, what's going to happen then? Yeah. Well, I and as soon as the money fails, the police officers, yeah. 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 officers yeah. Yeah. get their jobs, yeah. Yeah. they're getting paid. Yeah. Yeah. Are, milita yeah. are, are uh, military men going to come out? No, they're not getting paid. So. 
And about privacy issues, I would urge people not to use all those like um, shopping cards at all because like you're giving up a lot of personal information for like 10 cents off a donut. Oh yeah. I just feel like it's a real I just problem. started disband mm -hmm. uh, undoing all that this week. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah, and he's been and taken off, and I told Wolfie he's all about Infowars, and, <laughs> and I, I did. We're just going to